Smartphones has evolved, so are their displays. There are many different types of displays available across the range of smartphones and it is important to know about them before buying one. So with that, let's get started. Let's start with the TFT LCD display. TFT stands for Thin Film Transistor Technology. TFT LCDs are the most common type of display unit used across the mobile phones and it is cheaper to manufacture as well. But there is a limitation lying around. TFT LCDs has narrow viewing angles, poor visibility in direct light and consume more battery. Next display in our list is IPS LCD. Well, IPS stands for in-place switching. It has a wider viewing angle with low power consumption which in turn improve battery life. These are costlier to manufacture when compared to TFT LCDs and a higher resolution of IPS LCD display is used in Apple iPhone 4 but named Retina Display. Well, we'll talk about Retina Display later in this video. Let's move to the next display which is Resistive Touchscreen LCD. Well, touchscreen LCD displays are of two types, resistive and capacitive. Resistive touchscreen contains two layers of conductive material with a very small gap between them which acts as a resistance. So when the resistive touchscreen is touched with a finger or stylus, the two layers meet up at a point of touch, making the circuit complete. The touch is recognized by the chipset which acts accordingly. Either way, resistive touchscreens aren't responsive as capacitive touchscreens. That's the reason that they are used only in the lower end smartphones. Well, talking about capacitive touchscreen, these are almost like resistive touchscreens but in a different perspective. Capacitive touchscreens are much better and responsive to human touch when compared to resistive touchscreens, providing better user interface and likely we all use it. Moving on to our next display which is OLED. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. This is a layer of organic material which is sandwiched between two conducting sheets, which in turn sandwiched between a glass of top plate and a glass of bottom plate. When the electric pulse is applied on the two conducting sheets, a light is directly produced from the organic material sandwiched between. OLEDs are much better compared to LCDs because of its exceptional color reproduction and extremely lightweight design. Moving on to our next display which is AMOLED. AMOLED stands for Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode which helps to save a hell lot of battery juice which is why AMOLED display has gained a huge popularity in top end smartphones like Galaxy S7 and so on. AMOLED screens have attributes of OLED displays like brilliant color reproduction, better battery life, higher brightness and sharpness. But unlike OLED displays, AMOLED saves a lot of battery. While talking about AMOLED, there is also a term called Super AMOLED. These are the advanced version of AMOLED displays developed by Samsung. These are much more responsive and these are built with touch sensors on the display itself making it the thinnest display on the market. Moving on to our next display, which is Apple's own Retina display. What's that? <laughs> well, in any display, there are pixels. Here's four of them. We start off with the Retina display by dramatically increasing the pixel density. Four times as many pixels in the same amount of space. Now, why is that important? Well, let's make more pixels, and let's say we want to draw the letter A. And this is the outside boundary. Well, as you can see, we turn on pixels inside that stroke. We can get far more precision the more pixels we have. And we play all sorts of tricks by putting different levels of gray pixels on that line as well to try to fuzz it for our eye. But when we zoom out of this, what you can see is that because we have four times as many pixels, we get really, really sharp text. Thanks, Steve. Moving on. Last but not least, we haven't missed haptic and tactile touchscreen. This technology has been used by BlackBerry and Nokia on their touchscreen phones. As it sounds, this display technology provides tactile feedback on the touch action on the screen. So there you have it. These are the different types of displays we see in the smartphones. Hope you liked this video and if you did, then like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. We have our website running so definitely check out for more news and technology updates. If I missed anything or if you want to share some knowledge, the comment section is right below. Please comment on it. This has been Atish from Tech Dipper signing off. Thanks for watching.